Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on the GDQ Hotfix. My name is Smooth Operative, and welcome to Time Capsule. It's the show where we travel back in time to your favorite years in gaming and showcase awesome speedruns of games that were released in the same year. And tonight we are headed back to the glorious year of 1997 with speedruns of Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, and later Tomb Raider 2 All Secrets. But before we get into this dino treasure hunt, let's cover a few announcements. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for watching our Frame Fatales Marathon last week. If you did, we raised over 135k during our all-women speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, um, and that's all thanks to all of you. So you can check out the playlist at youtube.com slash games done quick uh, to seek out any runs you may have missed. Uh, and while you're there perusing the main channel, why not check out our highlights channel, which can be... Uh, accessed via uh, Twitch chat. If you type exclamation mark highlights, um, you'll be able to uh, go straight there. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening to that. We are going to get into the games uh, and we're starting with Turok and I have Chaos Wolf here uh, to start off with introductions. So hi, Chaos. Hello, everyone. I'm Chaos Wolf, the little talking green wolf you see on screen. And we're gonna play Turok Dinosaur Hunter in the any percent category. I uh, meaning we're just gonna finish fast as possible. Uh, I have with me my commentator, if you would like to introduce yourself. Yeah, hello guys, I'm Holy Hin, also a Turok runner and born in the year 1997, so very, very fitting and very happy to be here. Perfect, love it. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Okay, so, um, so real quick, we play this on easy, that is, it is, um, not an easy speed run, as you'll probably see. Uh, the timer is going to start in three, two, one, go. Okay. Good luck. First things first. You'll notice right away we move diagonally, and this is uh, common for uh, FPS games from the 90s. The game has just has some kind of weird calculation whenever you're pressing two directional keys, and we end up going faster, so... That is primarily how we get around. Uh, and secondly, there's the platforming. You'll see me uh, oftentimes um, try to optimize my jumping to dip a little bit into the air. And uh, that is to avoid deceleration. So anyway, uh, Holy, if you would like to explain uh, the Dorito routing. Right, so as is very common with like a lot of old school games, um, Doritos, the little cute triangles everywhere, um, basically give you an extra life for 100. And because we do quite a lot of death warping in this run, um, we always want to make sure that we have just enough lives to not get get a game over, because obviously that would be bad. Okay, so what I just did there, that little mini boss you saw, uh, I pulled the uh, arrow back for about exactly two seconds, and that uh, preps a one-shot arrow, and you can kill almost anything aside from uh, bosses and some armored enemies later in the game. And uh, he is essentially the trigger for those uh, pillars to lure. Another thing with the deacceleration um, Wolf was talking about earlier is that it, it basically works that you want to land right at the apex of your jump, right at the absolute top, and that way you don't deaccelerate, which is also a really good excuse for when you watch a stream or like a good pace run, um, die to a very easy jump. You can always excuse yourself for like, oh no, I was trying to go for a speed boost. I was trying to be greedy here. And that's the, at least for me, number one used excuse for missing jumps. All right, in this cave here, there's a lot of these uh, creatures called leapers, so I'll be prepping an arrow in case I need to take any of them out. There's a big one right there, and wow, we just, every one of them gave us a free pass. This actually doesn't happen often. Yeah, there are like two big things in Turok that can really really be annoying. One of them is the uh, shooting Anji of your enemies, the hit scan. Um, especially because uh -oh. you, we can go for some um, low health um, death warps later on. And the other is just being buddy blocked all the time. Two enemies in both games kind of tend to buddy block you. Our goal, um, 
throughout the entire run is to collect these keys, and that will allow progression into uh, later levels. There's one more, or I'm sorry, two more left to get in this level. An interesting note about this key here, there is also a secret weapon in the game called the Chrono Scepter. Picking up this key, for some reason, there, it's a bug in the code, also gives you that first piece of the Chrono Scepter. And that's the only one, the only time in the game that happens. So for the 100% category, you can pretty much follow the same route. Now dropping down into this cave, there's going to be a, uh, some water. We can perform a quick hop across it. And I got blocked by the beetle. <laughs> oh, the beautiful beetle. But yeah, the water up is really nice and it's going to be used a lot later on in the run as well. Um, there are some longer portions of water where you can just hop over. Alright, so next up is... Um, it's the second level in the speedrun, but it's level 3 by name, um, the Ancient City. It's going to introduce some uh, more difficult platforming, some, uh, different, uh, some, some new techniques. First of which is going to be a, a double jump, which um, for this one only saves about three seconds. Um, but it's it allows us to, to skip having to go around, and I'm already dropped input. There we go. Nice. It's it's kind of a weird thing with the uh, wall jumps where you have to completely let go of the movement keys for a short time to like perform it. Um, and they can feel very uncomfortable at first learning the run. Especially in the later wall hops where like, you can actually die from not performing it correctly. It's, it's very scary. Right here we're gonna tag that save point for our respawn. Because we have our first death warp coming up. And it's one of the only ones that uh, we have no uh, pit to drop off in to kill ourselves instantly. So we rely on enemies to do it. Unfortunately, those enemies in this next area are raptors and they tend to wander around like they're drunk and not really cooperate. I am trying to get a, well, fortunately could not show that off. Uh, that is known as the chain jump. We basically trigger ourselves to fall and we catch ourselves and it allows us to uh, jump up, get through there a little bit early, but I couldn't quite catch it. There we go. Those raptors were nice to you. I usually take way longer for them to make anything happen. As you said, drunk animals running around trying to hit you, but not really, not really managing to. <laughs> uh, coming up in this section is uh, used to be the one of the biggest reset points until a runner by the name of Glermo found us a setup. And it relies on a music cue. Now I have the music muted because of DMCA, but we're safe in this cave. I can turn it on and listen for it. There it is. And I'm going to collect, collect those uh, purple Doritos. They give us 10. I'm going to tag that just for safety. Because this platforming right here is really scary. Especially to do fast. And now we'll move on to the first boss. Nice. We face off face off with the uh, the long hunter um, normally you're supposed to fight two of these uh, hummers that come out so there he is he runs off hummers come out but explosions are actually really broken and we can just start killing him right away just for safety I'm gonna take cover behind him while we finish him off once his animation freezes that that's how we know he's dead now we we intentionally take a death here because upon respawn, the game will check to see that the long hunter is dead and it will spawn the key for us. Beautiful. Well, that's it. Always make me, makes me happy to see a smooth long hunter like that. It's the bane of my existence. I think of a lot of runners' existence is long hunter and getting a good one. Yeah. The, the optimizing how the how fast the. Uh, Hummers can kill you is, is kind of scary. Yeah, one oh. second too late and you're dead. Oops. 
So, Jungle is uh, level 2 by name. It's, uh, for the longest time, was the most boring level. Um, because it didn't have anything new for, for the longest time, for, for years. And until quite recently, a runner by the name of Jack, or Dr. Jekyll, he, um, he discovered that Turok as a FPS game is so gun-centric that your retrieval for uh, items and key key items and such is uh, dependent on the weapon position. And we can extend the hitbox by simply shooting. So you will see that later on uh, near the end of this level. We will jump and fire our weapon and grab the key. I'm actually just for a little bit of safety grab that right there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Again, Turo can have like a lot of mean, mean RNG, and there's a content coming up later um, where, like, if you're unlucky, you just take a lot of that. Even on easy mode, you just take so much damage in. But yeah, yeah, that trick at the end, I'm always looking forward to it so much. I'm, I'm like really hyped for it right now. It's such a simple trick, but just the fact that after so many years we found it, and like now we have something to look forward to on this level, it's just amazing. So there's a uh, another key retrieval that we're going to do, and there's a couple of raptors that can possibly, it's a very low chance, but uh, just for safety, because they're right there, we go ahead and take them out, because we have to jump across, and sometimes they can just body block us and we'll fall to our death. But, um, there is sort of a way to skip this cave, but it's turned out to be TAS only. This? I didn't know. I, I want to do that. <laughs> it utilizes the, the cannonball, which we'll explain later. Got it. I mean, the first, every time I hear Taz only, my first thought is like, I want to do it. And then after like <laughs> 10 minutes of trying, I'm like, nah, I don't. Never mind. Again, for safety, I'm going to pick up that. Pop these two here. There we go, we got the nice smooth uh, speed boost right there. Love to see it. And then oh, we, right. we was made it. Gauntlet. Yeah, that, that gauntlet uh, could be pretty scary. It either looks like nothing at all, or when you've seen enough runs or played enough runs, you know that, oops, 50 health, 50 health gone from that one guy at the end of the bridge, especially. Right here, we pick up some supplies by blowing open the uh, cave right there with our tech arrows. And now coming up is the trick we discussed uh, earlier. It's called Ultra Hand, and there it is, first try. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's it's so beautiful. So all we have left now is to... Oh yeah, I, I didn't mention, it's worth noting, that trick saves 15 seconds for so for not having been discovered for years uh yeah i imagine the community was very shocked about that it's it's a huge time save and especially like the usual route was walking right next to the portal and that was just like kind of unnecessary filler in a way it felt like it so right there i'm making a save not for safety but for actual speed tech we will um bring up again later First, we're going to show off the ceiling glide. All you do is just jump and hold, and you go down a little bit faster. Now I'm going to ready up another one-shot arrow. Now coming up is the cannonball, or more colorfully for this level, the catacombs, we call it catacannon. I'm going to line myself up. There we go. We're tricking the game to think we're falling right now, and it builds up falling speed, and we just look in the direction we want to go, and unleash all that speed, get across that gap, and that saves close to a minute, so it's really significant. Your, your catacannons are so incredibly smooth. I try to like jump into that edge like five times, <laughs> six times, and you always get hurt if you don't do it right, and you're like, no! That was so incredibly smooth. And Catacombs is like, if you played Turok, you probably remember this level as being like the most complicated. But in speedrunning, it's so simple now, thanks to the techniques. Uh-oh. Is it 
This is a long swim if I can't get the clip. It's not gonna give it to me. But feels I mean, bad, man. You got it like in the practice one we had, like for like instantly. So I I guess I guess we had it coming. Okay, so now the load warping. We load up uh, the old save, and then now we load the new save. What that does is carry over all of our inventory. So all the keys we've collected, uh, all of our weapons, gets carried over to the old save, so we can continue progressing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling how, how it works. It's super fascinating that when you're teleporting to any location in the transition, if you if you load, you just you just keep your stuff. Or you get the stuff from the safe, and you can break the game quite a lot with that. And now we've got Canyon coming up, which is quite the intense platforming. Um, and that was pretty smooth. I'm always really hyped to see this. Okay, yeah, that part always makes me really nervous, especially in a setting like this. Uh, I played it a little bit safe. Uh, there's some speed boosts you can get but it's very risky. But we got through it. Now we're gonna trigger that switch to get that gate to lower. It's really slow, so we're gonna take care of other stuff first. We're going to come up and tag this checkpoint. There we go, got over that. I'm gonna start prepping a one-shot arrow. Oh, I didn't hold it down long enough. There we go. The problem with one-shot arrows is that when you have to hold them exactly two seconds and there's like a particle that pops up at two seconds, but because it's an actual particle in the world, when you walk forward, you don't see it anymore. And so we just have to be like completely on feeling and you develop that feeling, but it, you can always uh, ma manage to like not do it correctly. It's kind of tricky. What happened there? What happened there with the, the oh no. Staircase of shame. Happens to the best okay. of us. So what happened there with the, the uh, checkpoint is uh, you nudge up against that wall and then you wait like a second or two and the, the wall will get detected and you just slip right through it. Or, or it will detect you uh, on the wall for a collision. And yeah, it's... it's uh, Difficult to understand, but the important thing is that that sh short pause that you do, because you need to give it time to to um, put you on that collision wall. Now coming up is uh, we we kill this gazelle. Don't ask why. Just just do it for me, please. Anyway. I'm going to tag this and pick up our grenade launcher and drop down. I have my map pulled up uh, so that I can see where I'm landing. Beautiful. I, I Treetop love Village. So much. Treetop Village has a lot of platforming in it. That's uh, like right there, jumping behind the tree and now we have um, another one shot, and I, I'm mistiming all of these today. All right, quick Dorito check. We are good. That is more than enough. All right, let's see. We get the water hops. Oh, you saw this earlier in the first level, um, and to some extent, uh, jungle. Basically, what I do, um, it's it's. Um, there's a, some runners have a preference. I double tap space, uh, holy hit here, he single taps. But yeah, the idea is to jump right on top of the, uh, surface of the water. And it's just one of those things you have to feel out. There's a little bit of a window, I, I feel like, with them. That you can try to go for speed boost, but yeah, whatever feels the best. So that section I just passed up, uh, there was a, one of those gorilla enemies that, called the Perlin. There is a trick you can do. Um, 
I, I didn't go for it because it's one of those things that's high risk and low reward. It only gives you about five seconds of time save. And I have I intentionally did not even practice it because it'll it takes a lot to get down. Right. The entire idea behind the trick is that the Perlin can toss you. And you you see in this map how there are like a lot of like narrow walkways. And you kind of want to stand in like the exact position and move in the exact way that the Perlin, instead of having to walk the entire boring walkway, the Perlin just tosses you over and like you, you hit a specific spot. It's a really cool trick, but it's so not worth it unless you really want to style on the game. And I don't think the game cares that much. <laughs> I mean, in, my, in my experience, or in our experience probably, the game kind of kind of gets pissed off at that more, more often than not. When you try to style on it, it's mean. Right here is the worst ladder in the game because it shares the textures with the stilts that are holding up the, the hut. Many runners, including myself, have fallen there because it just kind of tricks your eyes into thinking you're, you're okay and you end up jumping right past it. Honestly. All right. <laughs> now for another gauntlet run. These guys, it doesn't look like any of them are even interested in taking a shot at me. There we go, there's a few, but they're all missing. Coming up is a trick. Uh, we used to do something called the God Jump, but we've made a... Uh, we've incorporated the Cannonball um, tricks into this one, and now we have God Cannon. As soon as this lowers, I'm going to tag this checkpoint, and I'm going to... There we go. And... Good. Nice. God, that, that trick still gives me the tingles, even watching it. I'm, But that worked out so well. Yeah, you're hanging off a death pit, so it's... Uh, without practice, it's very scary. So we're gonna tag this checkpoint. Now coming up is another one of those double jumps as performed in uh, Ancient City, but this one's over a death pit, so it's much scarier. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> I prepared for this. It's a quick save. Those are... That uses, that uses a console command, which are not allowed in official runs, but in this kind of a setting... Uh, the community has deemed it necessary. There we go. Beautiful. Also, this jump looked incredibly easy, but it turns out there's an invisible wall and you actually kind of have a narrow path to like jump to that bridge. So, um, even though it looked very simple, it is actually very scary to do. Oops. We're only supposed to dip in there a second. I started to play. All right. So now, level seven, the lost land, or for some people, the land of lost runs, because there's a lot of things in this uh, level that can catch you off guard and end up just killing your run. It's uh, dece deceptively tricky. All right, these pillars here um, rely on us killing the aliens. Okay, that was actually really quick. You got it, damn. Which one is it? <laughs> I, I don't I don't actually know which one. Oh, there, there we is. go. So I got that kill so quickly, it caught me completely off guard, and I probably wouldn't have made that jump to that pillar as it rose up. Usually he gets away or the, the grenade takes a moment but it got it like instantly. And now we have another one shot arrow against probably the, one of the toughest non-boss enemies in the whole game is that Triceratops. Now I'm gonna turn on my map because I need to fall onto a platform. There we go. I love how I don't even look down. You just you just jump with the map. I, I know you have the map, but I, I would still look down because the platforms are still coming up. <laughs> so smooth. 
I'm just used to playing back in N64 days where I couldn't see two feet in front of me, so I had to rely on the map. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the draw distance in the original N64 version was pretty low, so, uh, yeah, very thick fog. Alright, coming up is a uh, another pillar section. Uh, there is kind of a skip for it, but uh, I'm not going to go for it because it's, it's pretty hard to catch yourself. You need, like, really good reaction speed, and that thing ate my jump. And that's the reason why we go for the skip. Not only is it and faster, but these pillars can be so incredibly annoying. Well, I'm going for it now. Yeah, I, I respect that. Come on. Come on. It's very tricky to get. Oh. All right. You, you know can what? see how you like sometimes, um, we sometimes zip up just a tiny bit. And you kind of have to use that tiny bit, that, that small timing window, to press jump without then, of course, because we're running into the wall, uh, straight running into the wall um, in a rhythm, um, we have to also then drop the movement key instantly. Are you kidding that was, me? That was almost oh. such a good save, though. I've never seen a save like that before. Like, almost. This is why the skip was discovered, because... Uh, these uh, the fall animation will trigger, and it'll just eat your input. Oh, it tried to do it again. Wow. Jeez. Those pillars are cursed. This run. Okay. Well, all the things that give me trouble. Okay. But the safe though. The safe. One more key to get, and we have another checkpoint we need to skip. This one is similar to the one in level four of the ruins, but uh, it's a bit harder to pull off. But you can make your life easier by clearing out these enemies that are around it, like these two raptors. And I'm going to pull up my map because it will update once it wow that was quick that was actually really quick that was so good where are we at in lives okay that's good i had to check you saw the you saw the 12 doritos and you got scared for a second <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, oh I, had, no. I, had like, I had only five and i was like oh no did i did i miss some yeah like yeah. a lot of doritos up here but like it can still get scary sometimes Alright, now we make another save, we ready up our fusion cannon, we load up the old catacomb save, and we bring all that over to face off against the mantis, and we kill her really quick. Yeah, quite beautiful. And because of our ammo routing, we also get the instant next fusion cannon shot, because all of our other ammunition is completely full. Oh, nice! It was a perfect three shot. Usually we finish up with the uh, auto shotgun, but I didn't need to. Oh, some good stuff. Mantis used to be a very skill based boss. You had to like uh, aim and hit the, the grenades um, while moving. You had to really know what you were doing. Um, now you just shoot three times and it's, it's beautiful. It's so lovely. Okay, now... Made it to the final level. Uh, there's nothing really to collect here, but this level is just jam-packed. Tight corridors uh, filled with really tough enemies. Namely those uh, red robots. You saw me run by one of them. They are probably the most dangerous enemy in the entire game. Uh, I'd say even more dangerous than a chain gunner in Doom 2. Um, but... We got plenty of health right now because I uh, load warped right into this level. And I'm going to do so again right when we get to the next teleporter, just for extra safety. Usually we only do it once. Uh, and the reason why is to get our backpack. Because that was on that save. Um, the death warp that we took at the end of Lost Land. 
Uh, anytime you die, you lose your backpack, so we need it. There it is again. Now, coming up is a trick that uh, was named after myself, the, the wolf clip. I'm not great at getting it. It only saves about two seconds, but everybody goes for it because we just want to squeeze every bit and we can, and we didn't get it. Basically, what happens is uh, I'll clip through there and drop instantly to the bottom. Yeah, that's it's a, a trick. You got, Go you got a tiny bit of a, of a setup for it, but I don't think anyone... Is there anyone that is consistent at it? I, I don't think so, right? It's super tricky to get. Uh, even Jack, the world record holder, he, he doesn't always get it. He's he's good at it, but you know, there's always that chance that he'll get it. He'll he'll uh, miss it. Now coming up is a trick. What is what is this trick called, Holy? Um, maybe it's um, named after somebody. Yeah, I, I I believe what you're talking about is the uh, Holy Jump, <laughs> um, which is named after me, and um, it is unfortunately or fortunately one of the trickiest jumps in the game that has absolutely almost no reward because he's safe like I don't know like two seconds and it's coming up right here uh, and it's that very precise very precise it, it just skips it just skips that elevator right there I yeah. tried before that we we usually just jumped over that first uh, pillar onto the elevator that comes up and at some point we um, well, I, I got, I got kind of bored of like waiting for the elevator, and then I don't think anyone actually goes for this jump, but it exists. It saves it like half a second, I think, and if you miss it, you lose a lot. Yeah. All right, coming up is the sewage beast. It's one of the rarest enemies in the game. That's pretty much the only time you ever see them. Is right there. Your, you, uh, your body blocks have been amazing. You're not getting body blocked almost at all. I'm surprised it's playing nice in, in that aspect and not so much with the platforming. How would yeah, that, that ceiling be, has no collision. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. I would be so happy with your... I mean, you, you're saying this, but like even in, uh, in the practice runs I've seen, your body blocking has been really, really like no one has been body blocking you. The, the game likes you. I don't see that a lot. Well, there is this one gazelle that <laughs> is that uh, is the only one that has a name in the whole game, and I can't say it. Anyway, we're going to fill up our explosive shell ammo here, and. Another thing to note is uh, we want to keep our health above 100 so that health doesn't spawn in the next boss fight. So there is another ultra health which will give us 100 on top of what we have already. There's just one more um, death pit. This is called the Bridge of Death because it is very narrow and there's all these enemies blocking you. There we go. So I'm readying up my fusion cannon for uh, the face off against the T Rex boss called Thunder. Important note uh, right at the start, when he roars like this, he has iframes, so you have to wait a second and we fire all three of our shots. Go up to the auto shotgun. Once we get to about 10, we. Oops, I did that slightly too early. I ended up I letting go of my uh, mouse, but anyway, so we've topped off our uh, explosive shells, and now we just finish him off with grenades. We're gonna need the explosive shells for the next boss, so that's why we're doing it this way. Um, but you, you can nade. Oh, there we go. The knife. Knife. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so rude. But yeah, we wanna we wanna make sure to have the explosive shells for the last boss that comes right after this. But also your thunder was so clean with the grenades. Did he did he give any wars? I don't think so, right? Uh not a single one. 
nice because he can sometimes do them just in the middle of the fight if he's feeling like it. It's quite nice if yeah. you're on a really good pace and he does that. I was kind. Yeah, you, you lose about three to four seconds whenever he roars, so it's really frustrating when you're on PB pace. So we're going to start off with the quad rocket launcher. It's the first time we ever pick it up in the run. Everywhere else is out of the way. And time is going to be coming up as soon as we finish him off here. Oh, I better keep my distance because I'm blowing myself up. He's jumping around. This is what you do not want to see. And time. GG. Nice. Wow, what a way to end a run. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> And that is to rock Dinosaur Hunter. I want to thank uh, GDQ for once again having me. Uh, big thank you to Holy Hit for commentating for me. Uh, Shoutouts to the Turok speedrunning community. If you would like to join up, you can go to speedrun.com slash... What is that link? You can, you can do a search for it and just go to that, that leaderboard <laughs> and there will be a link there. Uh, and yeah. I do a lot of uh, FPS game speed runs. If you would like to give me a follow, and I'm going to throw it over to you, uh, Holy Hit. Yeah, first of all, great run, very smooth. Um, I'm, I'm very glad that I was able to commentate for you. Um, if again, just a huge shout out to the tour community, very welcoming. Um, I started back then for GDQ or because of GDQ, and I'm very happy to be here now. And yeah, if you want to follow me, just Holy It on Twitter and Holy It 44 on Twitch. I usually stream StarCraft, but I also do my occasional Turok ones still. It's a really fun, although very mean game, but it's also very easy to get into, honestly. Nice. Well, thank you both so much for being here. Um, I'll post a link to both of their Twitch chats. Uh, sorry, Twitch <laughs> channels in the chat uh so yeah make sure uh you follow chaos underscore wolf and holy hit 44 if you had fun with turok um before we break i just want to say that if you are into instagram make sure you check out our instagram page at games done quick to get bite-sized clips from our hot fix shows and to get a sneak peek at what happens behind the scenes at our events uh, and of course a big shout out to all of our channel supporters your subs prime gaming subs gift subs and bits cheered here on the gdq twitch channel do help support our weekly hotfix content so please consider subscribing if you do enjoy these hotfix shows um, we will be right back but stay tuned because we've got a juicy little secrets run of tomb raider 2 coming up next all right everybody welcome back to the game zone quick hotfix uh right here on the game zone quick twitch channel and i am your host smooth operative if you're, if you're watching, watching this on youtube from the future make sure you go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in seeing our shows live we start weeknights at 7 p.m eastern and weekends at 1 p.m eastern uh but we are ready to go for tomb raider 2 all secrets so please welcome my friend stealth zor <laughs> thank you for the introduction <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm Stealth Saw. You can call me Stealth. Um, I speedrun uh, Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2. Mainly Tomb Raider 2, though. Because it is great. It's the best game. Yeah. So let me just go to the main menu and I'll count you in. Yeah, I guess we're... Um, I guess <laughs> I should mention that I don't think all secrets has been done on the Games Done Quick Twitch channel before. So um, if you do already know about Tomb Raider 2 speedruns, uh, get ready because you're going to see a lot more of the game and a lot of different uh, tricks and stuff. So it's going to be really cool and really exciting. And I'm ready to go as soon as Stealth is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I count you in. It's three, two, one, go. All right, let's go to our favorite place, the Great Wall. Yeah, <laughs> many resets here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Oh, see, that would be a reset, but never mind. Yeah, this is just like a little stair bug. There's a lot of seams and like corners and things in this game that Lara can kind of just phase through. So it can be kind of cool to see her shifting around in all of the game like this. Yeah, so that trick I did at the start, yeah, it's a step up bug. We do a couple of those in the run. 
I think you're probably more familiar with all the proper terms for these things than I am. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> but, wow. So that's 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 perfect. Step up bug. Yeah, I'll point out the next one we do. I think it's in Bartoli's hideout, which is the third level. Sure. Um, we're actually uh, going to be getting into some like camera, I guess, cancel. Like, so the game likes to show you some cinematic views every once in a while, and um, so by pulling out Lara's pistols, Stealth is able to kind of skip that so that um, he can stay on track and keep going in the right direction. Yeah, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, something else I just did is when I picked up that item under the wall to the key, um, if you draw a flare at the same time as picking up an item under water in this game, um, you get the flare for free. Yeah, it's really nice and comes in handy a lot. Okay, so this what I'm about to do is called an RCB as a roll corner bug. I hope I get it. Hey, I did. Nice. Okay. That's oh, a huge reset that point. One. Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge <laughs> yeah. reset point for runs because it's quite precise to do. So I'm glad I got that. <laughs> me, me too. Are you going for the um the seam? Maybe. Mm, I might do it just because I'm not sure in this position though. Hey, we got it. Oh, nice. So, so typically, when you get up to uh, like a corner in a, in a, like I guess two seams like that, you're able to kind of glitch through the seam and get to the other side. But um, Stealth is just pulling out all the stops right away in the Great Wall and and doesn't even need to stop for it. So that's excellent. Yeah, we essentially jump jump between the crack and the well, it's called a crack bug, but I guess it would be a flying crack bug because we did it while running jumping. Mm -hmm. That's very difficult to execute, so well done. <coughs> Approaching the second secret in the in Great Wall. Yeah, that one's not it's... very hard to miss. <laughs> no, actually I have missed it before. I walk a little too far, but um, the third secret. Now that's the most exciting one to, to obtain. Yeah, for sure. So Stealth's going to be killing all these little spiders and then uh, setting up for what is called a dive bug. And basically this allows us to get to the very bottom of the level um, without having to take the ladder. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, that's a dive bug. If we land perfectly between them, basically if we hit the wall and the floor at the same time and land like in the corner of an edge, we don't take any full damage. So I did kind of a setup in order to do it, and I did safety save just in case, so I didn't have to do the whole level again, but yeah. Oh yeah, nice, yeah. And you may, you may see another dino, potentially. <laughs> we kind of hope not, but the screen is shaking, so you know it's there. Oh, this isn't right. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Lo looks right. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, that's quite a precise corner bug. It's annoying when you miss that one. Yeah, so I find that actually um, there's a lot of those in this run, especially, like very precise corner bugs, so you'll see more of them, don't worry. <laughs> um, so this is another type of corner bug I'm about to do, but this is a swim corner bug, so the same kind of concept, we kind of move into the corner, but by swimming instead. Um, something else to note in this game, you might see me pulling out flares every now and again. Um, basically, a lot of the animations in this game cannot be cancelled. However, uh, when you fall from a big height, you get like a stumble animation, but you can throw away a flare in order to cancel that stumble animation. So we use all our flares to cancel stumbles, basically. Yeah, so you'll see that pretty much throughout the whole run, throwing flares around. Okay, I'm glad I didn't fall there. That was kind of janky. <laughs> I like to think that Lara just gets annoyed at everything in her backpack and just starts throwing flares out. Yeah, they're wearing me down. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> don't need these anymore. And the actual so, intended... Go on. No, you go ahead. I was going to say, the actual intended purpose of the flares is to light dark areas. We don't actually use them for that, so you might not have been able to see anything there. But there yeah, is a sequence. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a sequence where you have to um, pick up a pack of flares. So actually, I don't think you have a pack of flares until that moment. 
Um, so you pick up a pack of flares and then uh, you're able to continue using them in the run, which is great. Exactly. Well, that is probably true. Lara does have a short temper. <laughs> Um, yeah, so as Tippy explained, there's a couple of moments in this run where I draw the guns for seemingly no reason. Most of the time it's to cancel a camera, um, but it also serves another function, which is Lara's turn speed when she's stationary um, is faster when she's got the guns out. So oftentimes we'll do what we call a gun turn um, to kind of speed up her turn, if that makes sense. Yeah, a lot of people um, give, or sorry, a lot of people have questions about that. They're like, why are you pulling out your guns all the time? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, so a really th interesting thing about this category that I like is we don't pick up any ammo pickups the entire run. Oh god, this is, okay, I did the wrong thing, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, Jade Secret, let's go. Yeah, because basically when you collect three secrets in each level, so every level has three secrets except the last two. When you collect the third secret in each level, it gives you a huge load of either guns or ammunition or both. Um, so unlike any percent in this game where like there's certain guns we just don't collect in the entire game, this category is A, double the length, and B, quite different because we get to use stuff like the Uzis, which we don't use at all in any percent. Which I think is kind of cool. I feel like that that adds to the run because um, I'll often forget. Like it's been a long time since I've run any percent, but like I'll often forget that you can't use something like Uzis in in the regular run. So getting to use pretty much everything except the harpoon gun in this one is nice. Yeah, <laughs> um, I just jumped into a specific spot in that wall, so now I've kind of got this free momentum when I'm moving. Okay. So I threw down a flare at a specific spot then, and then I kind of went over it when I was in that kind of weird animation where by picking up the flare, she kind of glitches underneath the door. So normally we'd have to go around in that level and uh, press a switch and wait for 12 bells and stuff, but we don't have to do any of that. <laughs> no. Um, there's another way to get through the door too, but um, I think the way that you showed everyone is a lot more consistent if you can get it, so well done. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Blink and you'll miss the, the stair bug just then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was another step up bug. That was kind of a weird one, but we do another one on the way back. Yeah, the one on the way back is, is almost cooler because you don't have to really set it up as much. Yeah, although I am off sequence because I didn't side flip from that switch, but it's fine. Oh. Okay, there we go. Nice. Nice, yeah. Okay, so this is a curve jump. Oh. Normally we're supposed to land on that red thing to the side of us and shimmy along it. But shimmying yeah, is really they, slow. Yeah, that's what they end up doing in Glitchless because it looks a little weird seeing Lara just like completely um, crawl through like, <laughs> I guess, balcony railing. Too, too tiny. Yeah. Okay, she didn't miss the dogs. That's good. We only actually have two shotgun ammo there, so if we miss that, we miss one of those dogs, it's kind of really bad because we've got to wait for her to put the shotgun away, then draw the pistols and hope the dog doesn't take too much uh, health off of us while we're kind of doing all that. Yeah, the dogs will sneak up on you in this game, <clears throat> especially in the last level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so we're about to do something called a trigger skip, I hope, um, where we jump through the corner here like that. We got it, nice. Nice. So if we went through that window normally, we would have triggered uh, two wrench guys and a dog, and we would have to stop and kill them, and that, it cost us like loads of time, so... Yeah, it's so frustrating when you don't get that trigger skip, so good job. Yeah, essentially the tile in front of the window spawns enemies, and because we jumped through the corner, we kind of skipped the tile in front of the window. Okay, you should have enough grenades for the next level. I'm like, 
<laughs> trying to count them all. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I haven't used any extras, luckily. Nice, yeah. Um, that tends to cause problems uh, in the in the next level if you're out of grenades. But um, we're actually approaching a pretty tough section, which is the chandelier jump. And uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure Stealth will probably save because this one can uh, be tricky. Nice. Nice. Easy. Yeah, that one's tough. You have to um, jump off of the chandelier at kind of like the last frame she stands on it, and then you need to late grab. Okay, so that's another mechanic I didn't explain. In this game, when you do a run and jump, you can press action to do a grab. And if you press action kind of late into the jump, you do a late grab, and it kind of extends the range of Lara's jump. Um, but on that yeah. chandelier, you can't, you can't press the grab too late because it kind of makes you miss the jump. So it's kind of like a, if you press it too early, you'll miss it. If you press it too late, you'll miss it. That's the, yeah, it's really tight timing. Yeah. <laughs> you can call it the Goldilocks jump. It has to be just right. <laughs> I like that. Well, I'm glad I hit it. You'll also get to see in this very exciting Secrets run a lot more swimming. <laughs> Especially in Bartoli's and the Opera House. Yeah, that's true. A lot of swimming. Oh. Okay, so right now Stealth is going to try and avoid these um, gunmen here on the way to the end of the level. Oh no. And we're. Oh no, come on. <laughs> we're we're uh, making our way there to the final secret in the level, um, which is just through this wall. Yes, yeah, so what we do here is we do a jump and we throw the flare down at a certain point, and I messed it up, so I need to back hop and reset it up. We need that animation, and we tap up an action, and she picks up the flare and kind of glitches up through the wall because the flare embeds us into the wall. I want to say that's the only instance where this occurs in the speedrun, and I think it's one of the coolest. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's very cool. On the PS1 version of this game, you can kind of throw down flares whenever you want to kind of embed and glitch into anything, but this game's like on a different patch, if you like, so it's only on the PS1 Power version that that works. Yeah. Oh, okay, I messed up the sequence. Um, I thought you were doing my strat, so I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, who's running? <laughs> you are. All right, we do backup strats. I'm going to probably save it here just because, just in case, but I shouldn't die here. Finger, fingers crossed. Yeah. Nice. nice. So yeah, this is another step up bug. I do this kind also of consistently. Also, we'll yeah, also tough to see in the dark, but yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> kind of curve our jumps there, so we um, fit in the running jumps. Because you can't jump Have whenever fun. you want in this. You kind of got to wait for certain points in our running cycle before you can jump. I think that's what makes the platforming and everything in this game so cool, is you really have to think about where you are and where you're jumping. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no. That is unfortunate, <laughs> but you, you made a good save, so... Basically, um, if you kind of... Uh, it kind of looked like you stumbled in, just like you had a roll of her foot to get in there. Yeah, I went Basically, what would... Go oh, on. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah, on, I, went, I went off at too much of an angle, like, it's, I should have put the guns away and took them back out, and I didn't, I, yeah, that was my fault. Yeah, easy to mess that up, but not hard to get back to, so we're, we're still doing great. As we shoot the dog while we're kind of still on top of that ledge in the middle to make him de-aggro, because otherwise he can kind of come over to you and do damage to you before you roll off. Which is what I was trying to do before, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got it this time, nice. So this level's completely broken. Because um, there's a curve jump that skips most of the level, but of course we've got to go and get all the secrets first, so we'll be doing that first. I'm you're thinking now, it's just one secret left? No, 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 it's two. It's two, okay. <laughs> well, I'm losing count. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not even counting. I'm just relying on an autopilot. <laughs> that, that's how you know that you're into it when you when you are doing everything and you forgot how you did it. Yeah. 
This is also a great run because it's so oddly satisfying to see everyone just explode. Because <laughs> you get to use the grenade launcher a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so I will save it here. Even though I haven't been in runs lately, but yeah, you can die very easily here if you mess it up. Tricky. You have to avoid a lot of um, Lara's crazed fans. <laughs> Look at them, they're wild. <laughs> so yeah. many. Yeah, so if we touch any of those fans, we instantly die. But we don't want to do that, obviously. No, not at all. But uh, the Jade Secret has been obtained, so nice. You're going to be hearing that from me a lot, I feel, every time you get a secret. Nice. <laughs> yeah, only like 35 more times or something like that. Oh, it's, it's going to be at least 40. Um, yeah, so we kind of embed it into the corner then. We call that like a sticky corner, where we can kind of move up against the corner and embed into it. And we can use that to just glitch back up to the top instead of pulling the box and doing the whole box pushing sequence. The sticky corners are tricky because you really have to be like half in there to, to be able to turn her. But um, I'm going to shush a bit for this section because uh, Stealth's going to try and do like a an item in bed. So he's he needs to um, get this person in the right spot. Okay, so these guys die in 14 shots. I've done 13 and now I just got to pray. <laughs> okay, pray everybody. Nice. That should be it. Uh -huh. So we kill him in a specific spot so his item drops in a specific spot. And then we pick up oh, the nice. item. Yeah, first try. Yeah, that first one... try. That's tough. Yeah, that one gives me the most problems in this whole run at the moment. Um, that, that item clip, so I'm actually glad I hit that. But yeah, we essentially pick up the item while it's really close to the wall and that allows us to embed into the wall and do weird things. Um, but that one's funny because you have to have uh, the item kind of drop on the like left section of the, I guess, uh, wall, like tile area, because if it's too far to the right, then you like can't make it. So that's why that one's just so obnoxious and tough. <laughs> yeah. And the enemy RNG there, like sometimes the way the guy moves towards you can like make it impossible to set it up the way I just did. And you have to kind of do backup strats, which is what I was hoping not to do. And it didn't happen. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, we typically don't like Johnny Opera. <laughs> is that his name now, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's Johnny Opera. And in a few levels, you'll meet Joe Rigg. And he's, oh, he's quite something. <laughs> I guess that'd be next level, actually, <laughs> now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah, it is. Um, so I think this is our first ladder clip. We can kind of use the climb on the ladder to embed us into the wall here. So instead of climbing the ladder, we can just glitch to the top. So we don't nice, actually yeah. climb many ladders in this game, at least in the glitch category that I'm doing now. Yeah, ladders are out. We don't have time for that. Okay, safety safe. So this is a curve jump that skips most of the level. We do this jump in any percent and secret percent, and even glitchless. Is this not considered a glitch? Mm -mm. So pretty much like now we're back on track with where any percent would be and um, we have all the secrets now so we can pretty much just uh, fly right out of here. Literally. To the offshore rig. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So the way we kind of jumped onto that box, past the swinging box, kind of skipped to that room as well, like kind of at least the dev intended way, if you like. <clears throat> um, so there's something I'm going to do here, which is if you draw a flare during the end of this cutscene, you get it for free. It's a glitched flare, and you don't consume it for your, from your inventory. So if you look closely at Lara's left hand, um, there should be a red handle below like the flame of the flare, but it's invisible. Like there is no handle. It's, there's just kind of like a gap between the the spark of the flare and Lara's hand, which is how we know That's it's a glitch so flare. weird. Do you just do this one for fun? Um, I use it because I do the plane jump in a really lazy way. There's not, there's a, <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a couple of different ways you can use it. Um, but they're not, you know, none of them are huge time saves. 
Oh, I didn't realize. Um, so I think the flare timer is like about a minute. Don't quote me on that. Um, I guess I didn't think you'd be able to do it that quickly, but you're about to prove me wrong, I think. Yeah, I just land anywhere here, throw the flare, and we start moving immediately. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Looks good. But some people keep it here for this sequence and use it somewhere here on that yeah, side flip, I think. Kind of, this is a kind of a funny way to exit the plane, but technically faster. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's called the plane clamp. We kind of do a setup there to kind of. Hold on. I need to count here, sorry. <laughs> this dude. Stealth going for the double pickup. He should be 14 shots to die, so we did 13. 14. Okay. Oh, that looks good. I forgot to sidestep, but yeah. Okay. It's a double. <laughs> yeah. So what we did there is we killed both it both enemies on the same spot, so that we um, both their items dropped in the same spot, so that we only need to do one pickup animation to pick up both items. Instead of killing them in two different areas and then having to go up and pick up each one separately. Exactly. I think it's a uh, kind of a swag strat, <laughs> but it but it's ideal. And yeah, I, I kind of interrupted myself before, but um, back on the plane, we, we did what we call the plane clamp, which is we wedge ourselves between the ceiling of the plane in a specific way, and it kind of pushes up to the top. Um, um, yeah. Now we're in a great room. Uh, the bunk hunks are here. <laughs> yeah, which is the They're best name ever for them. They're ready to jump up and down on the bed, so hopefully Stealth can make it happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so there's, oh, there's a setup here where if we stand in a specific spot, they glitch out like that. They just keep climbing. Oh, yeah. They've been stuck in the offshore rig for so long, they just got to get their energy out. They see someone new and they get excited. Uh -huh. Okay, we got the triple. So all three enemies died in the same spot, so we picked up all three med packs with one pickup. Also ideal, so that's good. We call that the triple, triple, triple. <laughs> triple, triple, triple. Okay, so we're supposed to pull a switch to kind of open that trap door, um, but we can actually just jump through it. Oh, I just realized I haven't saved in a while. I probably should just hit a safety save somewhere. Just real quick. The funny thing about that switch is I think it's like in a bunk. I just... <laughs> like... It's like if there was an emergency or something, you'd have to literally climb up to the top bunk and like hit the hit the escape. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And there's not even a ladder or anything. They've just got to jump for it. Yeah, they just got to jump for it. I'm sure the bunk hunks can handle it. No, they're they're strong. They don't skip arm or leg day. Okay, so their uh, item clip. Yeah. You kill that guy in a specific spot, use the pickup to glitch us into the wall. Save climbing the ladder. There is a backup if we miss that. Uh -huh. Which would also avoid oh, climbing the ladder. I didn't realize there was a backup for this. Yeah, you can do a step up bug on the stairs. Ah, oh, the more you know. So yeah, never too worried about failing that one. All right, so we're headed to the Jade Secret again, <laughs> and this one is uh, this one is uh, not too tough to obtain. But if you try to come at it from the opposite side, you'll you'll see another really big fan, and uh, the fan on the opposite side will actually uh, suck you in and kill you. So you have to kind of go behind the fan to avoid um, getting killed, and then you're able to get the secret and escape. Yeah, we kind of just did that backwards. I think the dev intended way is to like pull a switch on the other side of like the, the area that I started the level in and come, in, come through and get that. But we kind of just went ahead in the level and came back on ourselves to get it instead. Yeah, we're about to loop back around <laughs> to that same room. So I believe in any percent runs, you would see something like a flop here, um, but we, we won't see that until I think diving area. So um, Stealth is going to uh, get into this room with the red key card and uh, kill all the enemies in the room. And then, uh, I, what do you call it? You call it a GG, but I don't know what it actually means. It stands for glitchless glitch. The glitchless glitch. It's, yes. It's, it's uh, a weird name. <laughs> 
Um, you can do an item embed in this uh, oh, room on. as well, but Stealth does the GG way because it's more comfortable. <laughs> this guy just ran away. That was really bad, but okay, Lara missed. Okay, we're just going to kill him. I can't be bothered waiting for him anymore. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. I mean, we got to pick up the stuff. Um, I mean, you don't have to pick these up, but I think Stealth does a few more fancy uh, flare cancels than I do. So that's why we kill those enemies there. Yeah, I think I pick. I think I skip a flare pickup later on in the run. Yeah, I feel like we were talking about that, and I was like, you could just pick this up, and you're like, but I already do. Oh, uh, and by the way, Joe Rig is, is here. Yeah, this is Joe Rig. We got good RNG, but we screwed up our movement. Okay, now we time for backup strats. This looks good. Oh. Okay, I didn't see the item for like a second. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. So yeah, that one and the one in Opera House are the two kind of scary item clips in the run. Yeah. I think this one that, you, that Stealth just did is actually a bit more scary because um, the guy just, he has a gun and he'll like stop, you know, like where he is and just shoot Lara. So, um, you notice Stealth had to do like a lot of little movements to kind of correct uh, the path. For, for the enemy. Yeah, it's kind of manipulating him into this, this is the right spot. Mm -hmm. uh, gold secret hype. And now we have the Uzis. Yes, and we will use them. Okay, so we so kind of like, like back flip into the yeah. corner there, and it kind of does some weird. I don't even know what that's called, honestly. We only do one of them in the whole run, but we can back flip into the corner in a specific way, and it kind of pushes us to the top. I guess it's just like a corner bug, but approaching it backwards, so <laughs> there you go. Still a corner bug of some kind. And yeah, the thing that I did before the item clip, the GG, the glitchless glitch, the history behind the name of that is um, originally it was allowed in glitchless runs because people didn't think it was very game-breaking. They thought it to be something minor. And then it was later discovered that actually... Oh, I almost rolled right off then and died. That would have been really bad. Yeah, people later discovered that it was actually way more significant than that, so it was then disallowed in glitchless runs. So, it's called the glitchless glitch, yet it, yeah, it's not allowed in glitchless. <laughs> it actually shocks me that it ever was allowed in glitchless because it's it's definitely not intended in any way. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh -huh. All right, picking up an extra med and uh, we are off to the diving area. Yep, not much to see here. A bit of swimming. Um, so the start of the next level actually has a has a fan that kind of sucks you in when you land in the water. Um, but we do the jump in a specific way, like kind of like up against the wall so the fan doesn't suck us in. And then we pull the lever and we swim away from the lever in a really specific way so that the fan doesn't kill us. I think, it, I think this one is tough for new runners to get a handle on because you kind of have to wiggle Lara through, I guess, the current, if you will. Yeah, when I first learned this run, um, I had to post on the Discord for help. I had no idea why yeah. I kept failing it. It was really weird. Yeah, I kind of remember you raging about it. You're like, this makes no sense. <laughs> That was just a safety save because falling in the water in that area sucks. And we got the double. That's a really nice double. Yeah, nice. Yeah, otherwise you have to go all the way around um, that room. And then I think you actually trigger more enemies, so it's not ideal. Yeah, it's like three enemies and they cost you loads of meds and it takes ages to swim around. Like, it would just be quicker to load it. And fun fact, if we missed the secret that I just picked up by going down the slope and... and just miss, missing the right tile, um, we can never get it again. There's no way to backtrack, even with glitches. Oh, he was supposed to die. Oh, there he goes. Okay, picking up the blue key card for uh, the next door, and then Stealth is going to show you all what a quap looks like. 
Yeah. And I didn't even comment on the ladder bug. Yeah, yeah, this is the longest ladder in the game. In Glitchless, this takes at least 30 seconds to climb. Probably it's like a, a minute. minute. It is a four minute. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. But yeah, we can so just kind of... Right. Go on. Oh, yeah. No, you go ahead. I was just saying, yeah, we can just kind of like use our climb animation to embed her into the wall. And then once we're embedded, we can kind of just clip up. It's so funny doing commentary with stuff today because we didn't really practice, but we both know a lot about the game. So it's like, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a co-op. This is a setup for a co-op, which is named after the old Flash game where you press the Q, W, O, and P keys and it, she looks all funny. Well, not she, but yeah. Who? We can use it to skip under doors, like this one. That skips a huge chunk of the level. Nice one, yeah. It can be really tricky because uh, Stealth, if you notice, was pulling uh, the guns out, like in a kind of an order, in a sequence, and basically he was counting the amount of times he was pulling out the guns because you have to kind of count the timing of the co-op because you can definitely mess it up if you uh, are too coming at the place where you're supposed to glitch under too too early and you can void out. Yeah. Yeah, Quop always lasts for a fixed amount of time. I, I, it's either 8 or 12 seconds. I can't remember which. I'm tempted to say 12, but... It, I think it's 8. Okay. Then, something like yeah. 8. But yeah, I don't know. It, maybe you're right. Now we have to test it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them. Yeah, the, the gun, the draws, yeah, it's just to help us time it, like Tiffy said. I don't know why I, I always miss your other pickups, but every time you get to the, like, green jade secret, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, to be fair, though, jade comes in a lot of different colors, so I speculate that all of the secrets are made of jade. That could be true. Quick little uh, swim corner bug. Yeah, similar sort of things we did in Venice. We just kind of swim down into the corner in a specific way. I think that one is a little bit nicer because uh, it's it doesn't take quite as long to set up, in my opinion. Yeah, I find that one quite lenient. And also the fact that we do it just by pressing down and swim, whereas the um, one in Venice, we kind of got to do a right turn in the middle of it as well. Yeah, definitely trickier in Venice. Oh. Okay, Marco. <laughs> this is a famous bit of uh, dialogue in the game. <laughs> oh, do you have the audio on? I do. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's obligatory to say okay, Marco every time you reach that in a run. I don't think I, I don't, yeah, I don't think I've not said OK Marco there on a run in like months. Yeah, gosh. I used to recite the entire like dialogue before I realized what am I doing with my life and myself? <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop this madness. Also, welcome to 40 Fathoms. Yeah, I lost someone in this one. Lara snuck on to like um, some kind of submersible and found herself down here uh, with no equipment. So uh, no breathing equipment and no shoes, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, I, I always thought this uh, this cutscene, we skipped the cutscene, but um, if you've ever played like, oh, we had Tony Hawk on earlier, if you, when, they, when you grab onto the back of a car, it's called a skitch. Um, wait, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, well, in Tony Hawk, when you grab onto the back of a car while riding the skateboard, it's called a skitch. And I always thought that's oh, wait, exactly wait. what Lara does when she grabs a submarine. Because what happens in the cutscene is she sticks on a, a diving suit and just grabs onto the back of a submarine. And yeah. skitches it all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> like, no regard for her own life, just that's what you got to do. Oh, that can be, that can happen sometimes. Lara gets stuck in the seam. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hush because this is a tough one. I might do the chat sequence and just do it with the save. You should because you practice it. <laughs> nice. If we miss that jump and go too far right, we die. 
I mean, get, if we get good RNG with this guy that's now chasing me, we can get up here before he comes. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, that that like one's, I guess, harder to set up, yeah, than the, than some of the other ones. Um, yeah, that that one is can be annoying, yeah. So the, yeah, that was another GG where we kind of like jump into the corner of a ledge and we press roll. We, well, we just hit it in a precise way and we press roll and she kind of just clips up onto it. Oh, so that was it. Yeah, good. Go on. Uh, I was gonna say it's. Uh, I think the more stylish way to get up to this uh, room than uh, the alternate way, which is like you have to step on the uh, platform and then jump to a couple of other platforms. So uh, it's faster and it looks nicer. Yeah, I timed it. It saves um, five seconds over the more consistent route that's also used in Glitchless, which I just call the Glitchless strat, but it is used in this run if you're trying to be consistent. Nice. Now, don't be alarmed, everyone. Lara is on fire, but she'll be not on fire soon. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so that kind of skips a whole section of the level where we're supposed to, like, pull a bunch of levers to turn off the fires and backtrack on ourselves a ton of times. I don't think the devs had ever considered the fact that you could just med through it and go into the water on the other side. I'm going to be honest, I still can't solve that puzzle. I always forget it. Because <laughs> we never do it. <laughs> nope. Even in Glitchless, because it's not considered a glitch to run through fire, so even the Glitchless run skips out that, that whole section. Definitely. It's getting eaten by fish, thank you. Barracuda likes uh, the gold secret most. Very protective. Yeah, I don't normally say that here, but if we fall into the left side of this room, I don't know how to get back, and so it would be run over. So, okay, we fell into the right side, that's good. <laughs> yeah, if you'll notice that little slope there, if Stealth had been just a bit off, he would have ended on the ended up on the other side, and then, yeah, it's like, GG, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there is a way back, but I've never practiced it, because I always just reset or load if I, you know. Okay, we hit that jump, that was nice. No, I'm dead. Oh. Okay, let's watch her splat. Okay. <laughs> just, just get a good one out of the way, so, <laughs> you know. Okay, that was that was just bad. I hit the I hit the hard part of that sequence annoyingly, which was the, the jump out of this little alcove. But I I, let, I hesitated on the running jump afterwards, and so she ended up jumping too far. Yeah, the jump out of this alcove is really tough because um, I don't know. It's just very very precise, and it's small space to get through. Yeah, see, I failed it that time. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lara will do whatever she wants at times. Okay, so we've got another dive bug coming up. So normally we're supposed to pull a bunch more levers in this level, which fills up this room with water. But we don't need to do that. We just land there and take nice. no full damage. Oh, I should have yeah. went for the GG, never mind. I feel like that's just a excess GG. <laughs> the climb up is good. Yeah, I, I, every time I've tried the GG recently, I've just lost time, so... <laughs> so this is the last room in a diving area, and it's a little bit... Oh, sorry, 40 fathoms, and it's dangerous because of this uh, gunner. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of good RNG. Normally he shoots you, like, sometimes he does, like, fast shotgun shots where he just fires the shotgun at double the speed for no apparent reason. Um, but we got quite lucky then because he had slow fire speed and he missed like three shots, I think. Yeah, very, very nice RNG. We've been failing this a lot recently, so I hope I don't know. Nice. So if we roll when that ledge is falling at the right time, we can kind of grab the one next to it. What that does is save us health from the fall damage because we're kind of falling from a lower height. It's about half health you lose, so I'm basically just saved a small med pack. Oh, wow. I actually didn't realize how much health you lost if you failed that, so it's good that you did it. <laughs> yeah. How oh, is your favorite level still? <laughs> yeah, so this is a long level. You might notice now there's a shadow on the ground kind of following me. So there's a there's a wrench guy that I put three bullets into. Um, if he's inside of this box when it stops moving, he'll kind of go into the ceiling, which I kind of hope he did there, because this guy made me void here the other day. Okay, I'm glad that didn't happen. 
you have to move the boxes and kind of hope that he ends up in the right spot because I, I don't know if there's really a great way to control his movements. It's not really. A lot of this is just praying you get good RNG because we, we need him to stay alive because he drops an item and we need to do an item clip with that item. Yeah, so uh, four more and he'll hit the floor. Yes. Now we're looking for his shadow and I've not been paying enough attention to where he is. I don't think he's in he, here. It, yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. He's supposed to kind of like uh, fall down from the ceiling, like very unexpectedly. But um, sometimes he gets trapped in this little room uh, and takes a bit to, to get back to her. Yeah, he's on the other side of the oh. box. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. That's just terrible RNG. There's like not, I feel like there's really nothing you can do about it. Like in terms of figuring out where he's going to be. He just does what everyone's, oh, there he is. Yeah, so he can, he can only move through the box when you, Lara's in the middle of moving it. So we kind of need just to keep mm -hmm. pushing and pulling it forward until he comes through. It's kind of like the fix there. One, two, three, okay. One more shot till dead. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice, yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> it's pretty much the only way you can get up to this section. Uh, otherwise, uh, Maria is a very long and complex level, so <laughs> I don't actually know how else you're supposed to get around, but... Yeah, doing that item clip sequence breaks a huge chunk of the level. Um, there's a lot of rooms we don't go in. Although this category is actually, I think, one of the categories we see uh, the largest part of this level. Because even in Glitchless, we don't, all this area that I'm in now, we don't see it at all. No, not at all. That's why Secrets is such a fun, I don't know, category, because you get to see so much of the game that you don't normally see. That's a tough curve jump. Good job. Yeah, I made sure to back up just in case, because I, I, I struggled <laughs> with that one. It's okay, because there's like an invisible, there's like an invisible wall there, and sometimes Lara will just like get stuck on it and completely go the wrong direction. So, Aww. all right, more exciting box pushing. Yeah, I'm always happy to hit this point in the run. I know it's a boring block pushing room that takes like a minute, but it gives me a chance to have a drink when she's pushing blocks and stuff, which is exactly what I'm gonna do after yeah. this one. It also um, also gives me a chance to tell all of you watching that if you are enjoying the run, make sure you follow uh, Stealth. I'm going to link Stealth's channel here in the Twitch chat, so uh, we'd love to see you over there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> and also shout outs to Stealth because it's literally like 4 a.m. or something, 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, I just glanced, 4.25. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gotta stay up late to represent the Tomb Raider 2 speedruns. Exactly. Um, so there's a clip we do here that I honestly, I, I really dislike. Um, but we'll see if we get it. Yeah, no, we missed it's a it. Bit, it's a bit similar to the one that you saw in uh, Opera House. She has to kind of get half into the wall and you, you'll see her body like... Yeah, there you go. Once she's half in, then she can kind of clip down into the bo the bottom. Um, I'm going to safety save it here because I don't think I've saved it in ages. Just a random safety this, save. This always scares me because the whole screen shakes. Yeah. So this can look scary as well. I don't do this. You're, you're so brave. Every time I see you do this, I'm like, oh, but the, but the barrels are coming right for her. <laughs> Yeah, so those barrels insta-kill you if you, like, kind of hit them. But we've kind of got a sequence there from the pull-up to make sure that they don't hit us. A lot of this game is sequences, which I kind of like, because it's more of a more of a memory game a lot of the time than an execution. It's remembering the right sequence. Like, obviously, you've got to execute it correctly, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is like a shelf bag where we're jumping into the corner to embed into it. Into a flicker. Yeah. I, I, everyone calls it a flicker, but I think it looks like twerk strats. I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. It pretty Lara's much twerk. is. Yeah. Lara's twerk out. So I think that might be the only flicker we see in the whole run. I think there might be more of them in any percent, but 
Yeah, it's a strat yeah, you can do think, in some places. I don't think that. I think you're right. There's no more flickers in the run. It's a kind of a tough one, but I think that's a cool one to see. Yeah. Also, I'm probably gonna have to kill this guy. I'm definitely gonna have to kill this guy. These enemies like to really mess up, uh, I guess, the path to the next secret because one, they just appear, and then two, you're kind of fumbling over the furniture at times. Self made it look pretty easy. Yeah, I did get bad RNG in that room. Um, sometimes they'll be further away, which gives you enough time to do the climb up without worrying how bad to kill them. But that wrench guy I could just immediately tell as soon as I came out he was way too close and he was just going to nudge me around and ruin my day if I tried to just go for it. So I just killed him. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, ammo doesn't matter in this run. Like, it does, but I can waste Uzi ammo like that and it doesn't matter because we get so much free ammo from picking up all the secrets. The day you run out of, like, Uzi ammo in a run will be the most shocking day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only things we stop to pick up in this game are, should be flares and meds. No ammo. There was one ammo pickup I was kind of, like, picking up from muscle memory from any percent for a while. And then I asked myself, wait, why am I grabbing this? <laughs> oh, yeah, it definitely happens. Um, but I guess as a reminder, when uh, Stealth is picking up secrets, sometimes the secrets kind of come with the ammo that you need throughout the run. So the secrets are their own unique ammo pickup. Okay, so we're doing a setup here. I'm going to do a random safety save. Um, but we can kill this guy in a specific spot clip up without having to turn off these fires. Um, we run out of ammo of magnums. That's interesting. Um, oh no, we were talking about it. We run out of magnum ammo. I don't know how many shots he is still dead. I don't know if it's one or two. I'm going to save it again. Thing is two. No, it was three. We'll just do it again. Look at the load. One, two, maybe three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. This one's always very scary because Lara sometimes nope. can ca catch fire. Yeah, just a little bit too too far. Okay, so the reason we ran out of magnum ammo there is because I stopped and killed the wrench guy, the one that I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the one that I said we normally have to skip. And then when I do end up having to kill him, I normally kill him with Uzis, but I just happen to have magnums out already, so I decided to use them, and that was a mistake. <laughs> a big one, apparently. But uh, but you figured it out, so it's it's all good. We're still going. Yeah. It's a big ship, and we have a lot left to explore. Oh, okay. I didn't do the weird camera thing on that last jump. I was kind of scared I was going to bonk into the thing, but we're good. Also, I do see some uh, names I recognize from my chat. I'm welcoming everybody who usually watches my stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of friends from the Tomb Raider community uh, coming out for this run. So thanks for being here. Uh, and if, you're, if you've never seen a Tomb Raider run or you're just here hanging out, thanks, thanks for being here. I overshot it. Okay, so this door's on a timer, so usually if you miss that med, you get it on the way back, rather than like backtrack and try and get it, because then the door might shut on you. Yeah, we don't want we don't want that. Wastes uh, a considerable amount of time. So Stealth will get to pick up the med now and uh, go swimming with the sharks. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned because I need to do a health check. Okay, we're good. So, <laughs> fun thing about those sharks is if you're below half health and they hit you, you instantly die. There's no reacting to it. So ideally in this swim section, if you're at all scared of the sharks, you want to be above half health. And considering this is a marathon run, I, I am scared of the sharks. <laughs> I, yeah. I, see, the funny thing about secrets is that... Um, so we're about to pick up the gold secret here in this level, and uh, when stealth goes back into the water, you can't really see where the sharks are. So 
yeah, you can't imagine the, the terrifying nature of the unknown. Yeah, I lost a run right here yesterday. Falling into the water, the shark immediately ate me. Nothing I can do. We got lucky that time, they were kind of not in the way. Oh yeah, nice. Easy. Um, one thing to know about the glitch flares, so I could have used the glitch flare on that item pickup, but the way the glitch flares work um, is they last the amount of time as your previous flare lasted within the same level. And because this is such a long level, I've, I've never actually really looked into it, but I'm pretty sure we use one somewhere else, which would make this one shorter. So we can't use it in the place we would normally use it in any percent, because I think it would run out sooner. I think I tested it one one night, and uh, it runs out, I guess, around the uh, switch that you're about to press. At least for me. Yeah, and I, I think I had one once where it like almost killed my run. I think I was a frame or two off of, like getting the bad outcome where it runs out at the exact wrong time. So I don't even bother going for the glitch flare anymore. I just use a real one. Uh-uh. It, it's not worth it, because... If if Lara's in the middle of her like throwing animation, it will really cause problems for her landing. Yeah, because we need to late grab to make that jump, and if she's throwing away the flare, you can't do the late grab animation. So you just you just fall, and then you miss the M16, which we need to finish mm -hmm. the run. So it's it's an either run dead or load game at that point. Oh, I almost died there. That I was on like a sliver of health. <laughs> oh. Deep breath. We're almost out of this level. Yeah. Well, that's the longest level in the run. It takes, I think, like 11, 12 minutes or something stupid. Yeah, something very long like that. Um, so this is a cool glitch at the start of this level. Um, we can glitch through this trap door. Normally, there's a switch over there to the left. Oh, oh, I've, ru I've ruined the setup. Never mind. We might miss this because I turn. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty forgiving sometimes. Well done. Yeah, when I first learned that, I struggled with that so much. But um, I was trying to like do it like manually, but I didn't realize there was a there was a consistent setup for it. Not like this consistent setup. Yeah, you can YOLO this glitch, <laughs> but I prefer to do the setup for consistency. Yeah, and I think you found that setup right. Uh. I mean, I did when I was playing around with it, but I'm probably not the first person to come up with it. I'm, I'm sure, like, somebody else has done it before. Well, you're the first person I've seen do it, so you win <laughs> in my book. Thank you. Yeah, that was a that was an RCB that we used to get up here, which kind of sequence breaks this whole section of the level, because normally we'd have to pull a bunch of levers to move, like, the pistons in the middle of this room. But we can just kind of uh, roll in corner bug up to the top, and yeah. It's a very stylish sequence. Also, my sequence after that lever was really weird then. I never had that before. Like, you notice I've still got this flare. I should have used it when I hit the ground, but she, like, rolled and turned around off of the ledge after I backflipped. I, I, oh, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure why that happened. I'm just going to throw this flare away now. It might mess me up if I throw it away when I'm in the middle of doing something else later on. Okay, so that guy is scary, but if you swim straight forward, he will never hit you. At least on the way. You need to go over him on the way back. Yeah, it's like one of the few places I think people like actually roll around and like go up just to avoid it. Yeah. This is a setup for another GG. Like that. GG. Um, I'm gonna safety save it here because I've had a, I've had a meme here once where like an invisible wall like kind of stops me above this glass and kills me. Okay, nice. It didn't happen that time. It's funny because you say that every time you're like the invisible wall, and I'm I haven't seen it in a long time, so I question is it still there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only happened to me once at a run, but once was enough. You know. A fair, definitely fair. Um, so there's another bug coming up where, basically, if there's like a ledge you can climb at the top of a slope, um, normally if you jump onto the slope, you slide down it. 
but if you jump onto it in a specific way, hold on, for this curved jump. Oh. No, I missed it. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so if we jump onto the slope in a specific way, where we kind of hit the top of the slope and press action at the exact right time, um, we can kind of climb on the slope. So you'll see what I mean here. It's right here. So I do it with a backflip twist. Yeah. And that allows us to climb up. That way I, I should have slid down that slope. Yeah, that's like, I would say, a faster way of setting it up. There is kind of a slower way, but uh, pretty cool that you can do that at all. Yeah, the dev intended way to do that room is to grab on way earlier on and shimmy for ages, but shimmying takes ages, so we don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm going to go for the Chad jump here with a save rather than the, the safe way. This is a late grab, if you're wondering. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, so that's a really precise jump to hit. I'm going to send another safety save because this explain for a guy can set you on fire sometimes. This one, there's really no saving Lara if she gets caught on fire. It's kind of run over because there's no pool of water anywhere on this section of the deck. Yeah. I did actually time it the other day, like how long it would take to get to the pool of water, like on the further up part. It took me over four meds, and then I was realizing, yeah, this is not viable to do in a run. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, if you lost four meds, we would get to Dragon's Lair and be crying <laughs> if we even got that far. Yeah. That's, that's one thing in this game, like the med situation is really tight. And if you use too many throughout the run, you can just get to the end of the game, and the game's not finishable. <laughs> Well, it is if you kill all the enemies, but with speedrun mm -hmm. strats, it's not finishable. Because we ignore all the enemies in like, one of the last rooms. But I think we're doing okay on meds at the moment. I think we'll be fine. How it's going. Yeah, I don't think there's been anything too catastrophic happen. Okay, cool. So we're um, headed up to the clamp. Yeah. So what's coming up is what we call the deck clamp. It's similar to the plane clamp we did in Offshore Rig, where we kind of wedge ourselves between a, a, a ceiling. Um, I will be saving it for this because you can soft lock the game if you mess it up. Nice. So that sequence Very breaks nice. this whole level entirely. It skips a huge yeah. section of it. It's a really precise glitch to set up because you, you really have to set it up perfectly right from that first jump off the slope uh, <laughs> to get to the right spot. Yeah, exactly. So well, well done. I'm going to stumble. Oh, no, I didn't. Wow. Whoa. That, that looked like surprising. it was going to be, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, that was weird, but we'll take it. <laughs> Adaptive strats, let's go. Cool. So yeah, I think I think like Dev intended, this level is not a great one, honestly. But I think in the glit the glitched categories, it's 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 actually quite an interesting level, especially this one. I like this level. It, it's really atmospheric in some of these uh, water levels, and uh, this one specifically I like, too. So, uh, but don't get too attached because we're about to leave. Yeah. This propeller here thing, we're not supposed to be able to get past it, but if we jump into the corner, we can kind of glitch past it. Oh, you made that look easy. Yeah, I think you do it with a side flip. I found it hard with a side flip. I did it with a front front jump instead, forward jump. <laughs> I'll have to check your setup because mine's a hot mess. Yeah, I, th I tried it for like 10 minutes with the side flip because that's what I seen other people doing first. I couldn't get it once. So I tried it with the forward jump, got it like immediately. It's like, okay, guys, this is what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, normally we... Hold on. On the f okay, I'm going to safety save it somewhere just because. <laughs> um, on the first frame of that level, we actually spawn on a slope. But something in the Tomb Raider games is you can kind of buffer inputs as the levels start. 
So even if you kind of spawn in the air, for example, at the start of the level, like you, you're falling down onto something, you, on that very first frame of the level, you can the game will accept your inputs. So if you press jump and you spawn in the air, she'll jump off of the air. So that's something we do at the start of that level. We do a side flip at the very start to avoid going down the slope. Oh, that's not good. We should have hit that in one and one go. It's fine. Okay, so that's uh, a late nice grab. Canyon jump. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we grab late to make that. Normally, we're supposed to climb down that canyon and climb up, go up go all, the, all the way up the other side. And yeah, we can just jump over all of it with a well timed late grab. Uh, and now we get to drive the skidoo around. Woohoo! Yes, and the music. <laughs> And it's everyone's favorite vehicle. It's a lot harder to control this than it looks. <laughs> yeah, some parts can be finicky. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, the scary thing about the skidoo too is like if you uh, make a jump that's a little bit too far, uh, too much of a gap, Lara will, the the whole thing will just explode. And there's like a couple of uh, questionable sections throughout Tibet where we have to really slow down a bit and be more mindful of how fast we're driving this thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, for sure. I'm not going for the canyon jump. I haven't practiced it recently, but there is a there is a jump here where you can avoid coming all the way around here and you can jump straight across that gap in the middle. But I haven't been doing it in runs lately, so I've not practiced on it. It doesn't save that much time. Yeah, it doesn't save that much time, and I feel like if you fail it um, and you're reloading the game, like it takes just as much time to save and load and try it again as it does to just go around, so... Yeah. I feel the same. So in this section here, we're going to park our skidoo in a very specific spot. Um, if you park it in the wrong spot in this room, it will actually disappear when the explosion, upcoming avalanche happens. Um, oh, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, that, that has happened to me before. <laughs> well, just you get back from this whole uh, expedition and then it's just gone. Yeah, that, it is possible to get back without the skidoo, but it's a lot slower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I shimmied way too much then, that's fine. So now when we get on the skidoo, it should like give us an instant animation where we can move immediately, yeah. Um, if you get, if normally there's an animation when you get onto the skidoo, which Lara kind of like slowly climbs onto it, but if the skidoo is in a position where it would kind of fall as you get onto it, it kind of cancels that animation, which is kind of one of the reasons we park it in that spot. And we, we park it here for uh, the next secret. Oh no! Am I oh dead? no! Oh no! Why did I not say that? Why did I not say that? It might have been the beginning of the sequence. Oh no! I'm Oh, okay. We're, we're, um, <laughs> you know what? We're going on another rowdy ride through Tibet, so get ready. That's like the worst level I could die in and have to redo. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're all friends here. We're all having fun. Don't forget the secret. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you know this run. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate thing to have to do again, but it is what it is. Yeah, oh, it cancelled the music as well. Oh, did it? <laughs> oh, mine sounds more like Jaws, I'm sorry. Nah, that's good, the tippy a cappella is better than silence. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, the music did start when I climbed on the skiddy, but I had to get back off of it to get the secret. Um, oh, right, right. And the secret pickup plays an override to the music. It's so funny when it happens, though, because, like, um, <laughs> you're, like, expecting it to start again, and then it's just, like, record scratch, crickets. Just nothing can be done about it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Kar karaoke. We'll have to do that sometime, Richard, for sure. <laughs> Richard's our tech, if anyone's wondering. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to miss that Jade Seeker. I've never felt like that before. That was just uh, sloppiness on my part. It can be tricky because a lot of times when you go for the secret, you, it's almost like you kind of can't see it right away. So even like here, you'll notice that Stealth kind of ran into the skidoo first to kind of like start the curve uh, and then, you know, whipped it around and picked up the secret here. But um, I always end up just picking it up first because I'm terrified of forgetting it on the way out. Yeah, so. that's, that's what I would normally do, but I, I started doing it the other way just to keep the music alive. But I think it is oh, actually right, yeah. harder to hit from that way. Uh, that, that's true. I guess if you do pick up the secret uh, early, the music stops anyway. So back to your regularly scheduled uh, ambient noise. Well, yeah, the music had already stopped that time, so I had no, no trouble picking <laughs> yeah. it up on the way. <laughs> yeah. Another funny little fact about Tibet is that uh, in some cases, when Lara is on the skidoo, um, she can fall down to the bottom and not actually die. And it's the weirdest thing. Like, you'll be down in uh -huh. this icy grave, unable to leave, just, just you and your skidoo. <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't take full damage sometimes on it. If you yeah. hit the sides right or something. I wonder if it's like a specific area or if it's just the way that the skidoo works with the collision, but it, it's funny either way. Has happened to probably both of us a few times. Yeah. I'll probably safety save it before the next jump so I don't have to do this whole skidoo section again. Uh, yeah. Let's do a quick one. This is a really weird angle for it as well. Okay, we're fine. Um, so if we mess up this out of here, we explode, but we shouldn't mess it up good. Right. We kind of skim the top of that little slope to kind of break the full damage. If we was to fall all the way out of that, like, alcove that we drove out of, we we take too much kind of, like, full damage on the skidoo and it just immediately explodes and it ends the death. I've even had it where, like, uh you're going a little bit further from like the top of that section to like in where the canyon kind of goes and you can explode there too <laughs> unsurprisingly so <laughs> unfortunately we didn't manage to kill any of the birds on the way to the hut i like to usually kill at least one which means we can get fast drained is all it means we need to be careful on the health do you, uh, like, mindfully not skip the bird trigger on your way into the level? Uh -huh. Yeah, I used to skip the bird trigger, but... Yeah, not so much anymore. Okay. Um, just because it's faster not to, and it, it's the, it breaks the sequence that I used to kind of do the, 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 the big canyon jump in one sequence. That's fair. <clears throat> yeah. Good save here. Uh, Stealth is going to try and kill this man on another skidoo. Since we lost ours, we need to borrow oh. this one. Nice. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse, but it was not ideal. <laughs> nice. So I'm actually about to do a setup that <laughs> me and Tippy worked on together because um, I was struggling with um, this upcoming glitch quite a lot. And so we kind of labbed it together and Tippy came up with a strat which was better than the strat that I came up with. So this is now called Tippy Strat. Oh gosh, <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to hit it now just to make you look good. Oh yeah, definitely. 
There's not a great visual lineup in this section because it's all snowy. So uh, basically, we're kind of looking for Lara's dainty little knuckles to go into the wall and then uh, a roll corner bug up to the top. Well done. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, good strat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, after those guys have like been dead for a little while, you can kind of just drive through their skidoos. They kind of like, the collision on them just disappears. We don't need to go around them. You picked up the secret, right? Because I started spacing for like a half a second. Now I'm worried. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, okay, he checked. I saw Rubber Ducky in the chat with a question mark. I'm like, oh no. We gotta make sure. <laughs> Yeah, so what we do there is we pull the block onto the skidoo so that when we get onto the skidoo, it's kind of inside the block so we can, uh, like, just drive through the block, basically. And uh, what an explosive ending to Tibet. Am I right, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to do this with a flare. I know I've been planning to do it in runs with a flare, and I haven't up until this point. I'm doing it with a flare. Um, never mind, that was the wrong sequence. I let go of shift. I'm scared. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's also, I guess, kind of a backwards uh, like corner bug, but um, self made it up and is about to do probably the coolest co-op that you'll ever see in Barking. So get ready. Yeah, so this quop coming up was found by um, somebody in the community called Fabi. Shout out to Fabi. Yeah, he's a top tier TR2 runner. And Stratfinder, apparently. Because, yeah, he came up with this kind of recently. This is all just set up what I'm doing right now. Two. Yeah. Two buffers and... I failed it. God damn it. <laughs> Actually, did I, did I say that? Oh, I'm not even going to risk it. I think I did save it, but I'll just go set it up again. Uh, yeah, um, set it up again. Honestly, the timing for that can be a bit weird, and I think you're the one who even mentioned to me that it's easier if you, like, kind of hold jump first when you're trying to set it up. It, it can be tough, for sure. I'm just going to safety save it here so I don't have to set it up again if I fail it again. Yeah, for sure. There we go, we got it. So now we jump here and we enter the co-op state. And we can go all the way down to the bottom section, which we would normally take full damage and die on. Like, we wouldn't normally be able to get down here um, at this point. We've kind of sequence break the level. Yeah, very nice job. It's a cool, it's a cool one, I like that. Yeah, so I always safety save it here, even on runs, because this room is scary. What's not to love about fire, spiked, swinging yo-yos, fidget spinners? I don't know. It's a terrifying room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that was not good. Wait for the thing. I don't know where it is, there it is. Yeah, so most of the obstacles in that room that I just went through, like, do loads of damage to you, like, very quickly. Like, the, the slammy, slammy doors that I just went past, or the clinky, clanky doors, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> um, like clang, clang doors or something, yeah. Yeah, they, they practically insta-kill you. It, it's not quite insta-kill, it's a really fast health drain. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we get to kind of chill a little bit. We're going to be switching, uh, pulling some switches and uh, changing the water level of the room so that we can um, get the prayer wheel that we need to leave the level. Yeah, so an important thing about this level is in if you were doing this level like what Dev intended, it's probably the longest level in the game because the in intention is you go around the level to find five prayer wheels, which are used to open a big door at the end of the level. 
but we do like an item duplication glitch in this level where we only need to pick up one prayer wheel which is this one that I pick up right now um, and we can kind of duplicate it five times so we yeah we, we skip a huge section of this level also the monks lost the fight so these guys are alive and shooting oh my me. gosh I don't think I've seen this no so the I've monks had to... almost always win yeah that's just bad RNG. That cost me a med. I was worried about him killing me, so I don't normally med in this level. I, sh I hope I'm okay for later on, though. Yeah, that was just bad luck, unfortunately. The monks lost. Oh, no. Yeah, so the, so kind of the gimmick of this level is there's, there's kind of like friendly enemies, the monks, which as long as you leave them alone and don't shoot them, they won't shoot you. As soon as you shoot one of them and aggro them, they'll kind of all the rest of them in the rest of the level will kind of all be angry at you. Um... I mean, I mean, it's it's doable to complete the level like that, but but it's not recommended, and certainly not in the speed run. Yeah. So this is the item duplicates we're doing. So we use the rear prayer wheel on the first um, slot, and on all these subsequent slots, instead of pressing action to bring up the menu, we're pressing escape to bring up the inventory, pressing up to select the seraph, and then pressing enter. And it kind of oh, I wasn't supposed to backflip then. It kind of tricks the game into thinking it's another prayer wheel. I don't know why exactly it works, but it's that easy. I'm not holding any keys, I'm not doing anything fancy. It's it's actually really simple. And it took the community a long time to find this, all things considered. Like, it was only found semi-recently, and considering how easy yeah. it is, it's quite surprising. I want to say it was like three years ago oh, when they found that, but um, somewhere around then. <laughs> it's funny that three years ago is semi-recently. Well, it is in the context of this game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, we're... we're... It, over here is still was speedrunning a 1997 game, so when you think about three years ago, uh, well, pretty recent, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, moving on to catacombs, we've got ourselves a little yeti friend, but we don't have time to talk. I'm sorry. Yeah, we ignore the yeti. This is just a corner bug. To avoid climbing the ladder because we don't climb ladders. Oh, she, she's not going to pick that up. Okay, never mind. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's there's not many ladders we, we climb in this category at all. Like, I'm not a fan of ladders. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask Stealth to get you anything from atop a ladder. <laughs> he won't do it. Just won't. Well, I tried calling the ladder company the other day, but it just rung and rung. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad, but <laughs> I had to go for it. You know what? We accept your humor, Stealth. We're all friends here. And actually, Stealth is uh, getting ready to do kind of a tricky drop sequence. Um, easy for Laura to die, so yeah, he'll probably make a safety save. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nice. Nice. Oh, I was That's not supposed to run ideal. there, though. Except there. <laughs> the, the rest of it was ideal. Uh, very nice uh, drop down. So easy to, like, completely fall to your death there. Yeah, if you overshoot the falls to the right at any point, you, 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 you die from full damage. And then you've also got to pay attention to, the health, to your health from the guy shooting you. There's a lot of folk to focus on in that room. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um... Back to another corner, another snowy corner. Yeah, this corner bug can be kind of annoying. I think we got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, nice. So we're headed up to the Jade Secret, which is kind of in this little cubby. Uh, you need to, I guess you need to kind of climb the ladder to get to this one, but we're not going to stay on it very long. Yes. I am going to safety save it because I feel like I haven't saved it in ages and you can die if you mess this up. Like on the way back down mainly, but yeah, I just, I just yeah, wanted to yeah. hit a safety save. <laughs> Makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, marathon, always a good idea. 
Nice, so we just have one more to pick up and uh, Stealth will have to kind of go back through the way we came, kind of towards the beginning of the level and, um, and then we'll start heading there now. Yeah, um, there's a jump I do over this slope on my left to skip the trigger, which skips some leopards like that. If we go in front of that slope, it triggers some leopards, which don't make a huge difference, but they can get in the way or do a little bit of damage, which can be annoying. Uh, if you remember, when we first got to this section of the run, uh, Stealth kind of jumped around a set of boulders, and that actually skips like four cats, I think, in the whole room, so... We, yeah, it's a we lot. need that. <laughs> we need that because otherwise they'll mess up the uh, glitch that was just performed. And yeah, that sequence breaks the rest of this level by glitching up there like I just did with the corner bug. You can do it with an RCB as well, but I did a corner bug that time. And then just jumping across. Uh, your health is good, I, I assume. Yeah, it's because it's not flashing, you're good here. Okay, yeah. Just so we can take the fall damage, make sure we can take the that. Yeah, but thank okay, you for the Ice reminder Palace. before I died to it, just in case. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely died there before. So this is a fun level. Um, what I'm about to do after pushing the block is not a glitch, it's actually like dev intended. There's a bunch of invisible platforms in the next room. Like a straight line of invisible platforms, like straight across the room. But you can fall off of them and die still, so I will safety save it. Yeah, th this one can be weird. Yeah, if you don't curve right during that crack bug, um, you... Or like kind of just fall straight down and die basically uh -huh. <laughs> yeah but you know there's a lot of that in this level my friends <laughs> you could pretty much die almost anywhere it's a tough run yeah and of course i'm um saving because it's a marathon quite a lot but um in actual runs they don't save because it takes a couple of seconds to open up the save menu oh i don't like this should be good so yeah, they try and minimize saves wherever possible because the save actually loses like, what, two or three seconds of time. Yeah. Nice uh, bounce pad jump, by the way. That's not, not too easy. You have to approach it from like the right angle. And so with the Yetis kind of on your tail, it, it can be nerve wracking to set up. So well done. Thank you. Yeah, so on that block I just jumped on with the item on top of it, it's got like a mask or something on top of it. We don't need the mask because we skip the door that the mask opens, but um, we, if we stand on top of the block, it opens the next door, basically. This door that I'm about to go through right here. That door. <laughs> In case you're wondering why we went into that room for seemingly no reason. <laughs> Gotta take a tour of the palace. Two, three. So that's where we would have normally used the mask, right where I jumped out of there, but we we just can kind of jump over it and skip that, so that's fine. <clears throat> oh, that was weird. I almost didn't think it was gonna... Uh, the ice wasn't going to break. You got there, like, super quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had that happen before. Oh, wait, yeah, it usually melts. <laughs> so this section is a little bit scary. Um, Stealth is currently running away from, like, three or four yetis. Um, they all want to kill him. And uh, on top of that, there is a horde of boulders rolling around so have to get through this section quick um, so we can see the big chicken at the end of the level yeah I should not have cancelled the camera like if you notice I drew the gun to cancel the camera like that shows you the boulders rolling down the hill at you but it was kind of as you were explaining it I cancelled the camera <laughs> <laughs> that's fair just have it I don't normally save it here, but I, I did lose a run here kind of recently, so yeah. And you like glitched out this flare, correct? Yeah, so we can also draw a flare kind of during the animation where she's grabbing onto a ladder and it gives you a free glitched flare. Uh -huh. 
like during that initial animation when she's getting onto the ladder and like putting her feet on it. If you draw a flare during that animation, she gets it for free, basically. So I don't actually throw that flare for the stumble cancel. I throw it so I can see what I'm doing on the way back up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a tough one to see. It's just pitch black here. Yeah. Uh, and I guess you're going to do another weapon combine or like a weapon combine. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Same principle. Um, Stealth basically drew his M16 kind of in the middle of climbing up the ladder. And uh, so now it's glitched out and it's basically gun arm. <laughs> yeah, so the game so, kind of uh, thinks that I'm not holding the gun so I can grab ledges and stuff. But it mm -hmm. visually looks like she's holding the gun. Purpose of it, you'll see soon, is so that we can fire grenades with the speed of the M16. Yeah, it's a cool weapon. Like that. <laughs> Very flashy. Which instantly kills the boss. And now we are at Temple of Xi'an, which is really exciting because um, in the any percent, uh, this level is basically non-existent. Um, they, there's a void skip that you usually use to just like skip the whole level. Um, but since it's secrets, we are uh, going to make our way through a very challenging level to get all of them. So buckle up. Yeah, honestly, this is my favorite run of this uh, favorite level of this category for that exact reason because we actually see the level. That's why I wish there were uh, more more of you that speedrun Tomb Raider 2 to get into secrets because we, we want to see uh, how you handle Temple of Xi'an. Exactly. <laughs> this is a setup, I shouldn't miss it, but it's possible, so safety save. Cool. Nice, yeah. This is all a lot of... Um, See, this is kind of like its own whole sequence. Stealth's going to make a, a dive, a, a very questionable dive here. Nice. And I don't, I'm not exactly sure why we don't take full damage there, maybe because something to do with the water, but we don't take full damage off of that dive for whatever reason. Yeah, I think like in certain sections, the water is like just deep enough for Lara to survive without swimming or something. Um, the current can very easily take you away up there, so... Uh, pretty precise, I would say, jump. Yeah, we've got loads of M69, so we can just kind of pre-fire those lines and start shooting before they even spawn and not worry too much about our ammo. Mm, yeah. I'm going to go for the Let's, chad strat here. As I say, you're going for the shelf bug here. Nice. Nice. Okay. I also think in terms of like a showcase standpoint, this level kind of showcases the a lot of different kind of glitches all in one. It's a quite interesting level from a spectator point of view, I think. Oh yeah, I agree. Especially this next room. Why did I jump there? Okay, I lost half my health for no reason because I jumped. It was fine. <laughs> This whole room is scary. There's a bounce pad in front of me that we can kind of jump twist onto, and it reverses our momentum, so we can kind of just fly right up here and get the secret. Yeah, I room. feel like that is that's so clutch. I love that because it's a really big, long room. You have to go all the way around, so that just skips a huge chunk. Yeah, I always sit forward in my chair to look at the visual for this one because it's really precise. This should be okay. Yeah, nice. Nice, yeah. I always save there because it's so scary, like, the setup. If you miss it, it's just pew, going all the way down to the bottom and trying to figure it out again. Yeah, I used to save that every time, but I found a new visual which works a lot more consistently, so... I've not You're been saving You're holding out recently. on us. You're holding out on me still. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you it after, that's fine. All right, cool. So yeah, hope. Stealth's just gonna uh, yeah flare cancel and, and hope he doesn't get caught here. 
Yeah, sometimes these tigers can do a whole med worth of damage. I took two hits, that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad, yeah. I'll probably save it at the top here. So the nice thing about this ladder glitch is that even if you kind of mess it up, there's like a little safety net. Um, not needed by stealth, of course, pro gamer. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're going to breeze through this and uh, kind of head down to the stone secret, if you will. And uh, that can be a really unforgiving sequence if you approach it the wrong way. So well done. I'm going to go for the iced tea strat. Oh, wow. Even though I don't normally. This only because it's a cool only because it's a cool strat and I want to show it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we will get it. Oh. We will get it. Like there. I don't go for it purely because of that GG. I, I'm not very good at hitting it, but that's fine. Mind the spider. Okay. <laughs> We'll safety save it. Um, this is all a sequence. Um, I should have done another sidestep. Hopefully this works. Okay, I screwed it up. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. This is one of the hardest rooms in the run, I think. I should have got that with the sequence, though, but... The alternative here is basically like shimmying around the bottom of the room and then uh, using these two ladders to climb out. But um, but yeah, it's a pretty stylish sequence if you can get it. Well done. Yeah, that last curve jump is um, is really difficult. And that, that is yeah. a kind of a sequence for it. It was discovered by a, a guy called Ice-T Gamer who also runs this. And mm -hmm. I want to showcase it, so why not? Yeah, cool. Yeah, you surprised me. I hadn't seen you do that in a run before. <laughs> so I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's not good. Um, Walk slowly now. And then my health is kind of low. Make sure you have enough for the jump if you're doing it. Yeah, I just murdered. Fine. Oh. We're fine, we're fine. All right, cool. Uh, well, now we're kind of going to go back up the waterfall. Uh, I'd tell you how we do it, but it's pure magic. <laughs> yeah, so, so only this, this exact tile I'm stood on now where we don't get carried away by the current. If we was to move to the right, we would get carried away by the waterfall and all of the way down. Quite a precise corner bug to get back up. But yeah, that's what... Good job. It's one of those, if, you, if you're if you off even slightly, Lara will get swept away by the current and you're all the way back to the bottom. Okay, that wasn't the best, but it's fine. I was almost tempted to stop and pick up that med, just because I have no idea how I'm doing on meds, but I hope we'll probably be fine. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need the meds for like the next uh, two levels for <gasps> I'm sure. I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yeah. I think you're dead. Yeah, I think you're dead too. Mm, where's the last one? Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Oh no, this isn't bad. We saved the health from the spikes this time as well, so we actually kind of just saved the mad by loading it. That's true. Silver linings on that one. But yeah, I, that's, I've never actually died on those um, bounce pads on a run before. That's a new one for me. <laughs> it, it's always got to be a moment like that, you know, in, in a marathon. It's like, that's never happened before, but then it does. What are you going to do? You reload and you try again. So good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to roll earlier then. 
I might just save it before I do the jump this time, just so I don't have to do it again, but yeah. Now this one's very weird jump because you can't actually see the platform until it's like too late, so um, you always hope you just kind of make it. Um, but that was, uh, that was it that time. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> yeah, marathon luck, exactly. This is kind of the final area of this of this level, this whole room, we kind of go all around it, really. There's some tricky uh, late grab jump coming up soon as well, That that's at a very awkward camera angle. We'll yeah. see how self handles it. <laughs> Nice. I would have saved for that, but I had it to save from the bounce pad room, so... Yeah, no worries. Just went for it. I did lose a run here recently. I'm not saving it on this jump. And I had to go back <laughs> like two minutes and that was run dead. Yeah, this is the tricky one. Nice. Nice, yeah. So yeah, we have to kind of curve it um, and grab really late in order to make that. If we mess up the curve or the grab, we just fall and die. I think I need a med or I would have died there. Yeah, I would have. I've been trying to pay attention more to how much health you lose on that drop that you just did. And I, I think it is like a half a med. Yeah. About that. Ooh. Ooh. I hit it when she doesn't stop there. So this is a fun one coming up. My health should be good enough to do this. We kind of embed into the wall here and we line up like about here and we roll and she pops out right at the top, which skips a whole bunch of ladders. Because as I said, we don't do ladders in this game. Except, I spent, except. Well, <laughs> except for the one coming up. Also, I don't like where I am on here. Yeah, th these are, are kind of mandatory ladders. So the ones at the end. You really can't leave the level in this way without, um, without doing it, so... So yeah, how's everyone feeling? If you've, if you've been with us up into uh, Xi'an, thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to make sure you follow Stealthser here on Twitch for more Tomb Raider awesomeness. Oh, I'm gonna have to just do it normally. I'm just gonna have to do it normally. I ruined the sequence. I wanted to show that off. That's some shame. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, there's like a little sequence there um, where you are kind of able to skip this section of the ladder that Stealth is on right now. Uh, you basically shimmy embed into the right side of that wall and then um, you'll see it here in a second. Um, Stealth is going to fall onto this slope and pop over to the other side. So it's pretty much what it would have been. Yeah. I, I messed up the setup for it because I did a jump twist when I wasn't shouldn't shouldn't have. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, floating islands. It's uh, the, honestly the coolest level in the game, in my opinion. It's so cool. But cool and good don't go together. <laughs> no, I don't think Stealth likes this level at all. <laughs> it looks cool. It's very tough. Uh, safety save it. Yeah, this is a tough jump because these barbecue skewer dudes can really get in your way. Nice. Okay, nice. Yeah, you have to do a late grab there and throw the flare just so Lara can land a, a tiny, her tiny little feet on that platform. So, well done. And uh, some swag movement there. Didn't have to pull up on that uh, second one. I'm not going to do this with the full YOLO sequence, I'm just going to stop and turn. <laughs> yeah, smart. <laughs> um, so this level normally is quite a long level, but honestly we're probably past the halfway point already. We've just I got like I actually think... Go oh, you had... Go on, go on. <laughs> all right, all right. I think that this level is actually probably the coolest out of all the Tomb Raider runs uh, in secret specifically because uh, it's a little bit nicer to go through this little, I guess, corridor to the stone secret because it puts you in a nicer position for the glitch that uh, Stealth is about to do, which is a void 
type of glitch. So it's gonna get dark, but hopefully not sinister. I have no small meds least. left. Uh, do you have any large meds? I do, I used one then, so I'm good on larges, but I don't know how that... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we can do a quick med check, because you're gonna need them in the next level, or, well, stealth will need them. That lets us skip by the whole level, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is the last secret for uh, floating islands. Nice, that guy got stuck up there. Yeah, it can be annoying if he falls down. Mm -hmm. Gets in your way. Nice. Okay, I'm going to grab this because I have no idea how I'm doing on meds. Uh -huh. <laughs> It'll be a fun surprise if you don't check. Yeah, we're not checking. We'll just send it and hope we've got enough. <laughs> send it and pray. That's how runs usually go. Yeah. There's this room we kind of ignore every enemy, and I should have saved it already. Yeah. So we have to kill this one particular enemy because uh, he has, I believe it's called the Mystic Plaque. <laughs> Yeah. which will help op open the door um, and we need to open the door because that's where the boss is uh, the dragon okay we had two larges nice nice oh yeah get out of there oh perfect yeah two large med dragons land not bad yeah. it's definitely scary if you do not have enough meds like I, I feel like you could do it in maybe like two larges but nothing less I have done it with one med once I was really lucky oh, oh my gosh The um, dragon's here. Yeah, so this is a very anticlimactic boss fight because we can kind of just stand behind this pillar and avoid the flames that he's currently shooting at us. It's funny because the dragon looks so confused. Like, where'd she go? <laughs> uh, and yeah, Stealth's gonna have to get out of here because the place is going down. And I have no flares left, so I did get my flares right. <laughs> wow, nice. Including yeah, the extra I one I used in Barkhang. I was wondering because I didn't see you pick them up uh, in, I think, Ice Palace? Yeah, Ice Palace at the bridge. So. Yeah. All yeah, right, I, home stealth home. I skipped the ones in Ice Palace, but I pick up the ones in Offshore Rig, the ones we were talking about earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, we just swap, swap those. Okay, so the boss has come and gone, but... Uh, Something more sinister is at play, and uh, it's a home invasion at the Croft Manor. So Stealth is going to have to take out the baddies and uh, protect the artifact, which is now rightfully Lara's. Yeah, the Dagger of Xi'an. The Dagger of Xi'an. <laughs> it's a beauty, and we can't let it go. There's kind of a sequence we do for this level. That dog hit me as soon as I landed. That was unfortunate. I'll let the dog chase me all the way down here. In fact, that's probably a bad idea. It's fine. <laughs> just, just roll with it. I can still see him at the bottom of the screen. This level can be deceptively hard because sometimes you just get like the enemies in a bad spot and you're taking uh, some unnecessary damage. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope uh, Stealth can manage it. Yeah, so there's 15 normal enemies in this level. Once you've killed 15, the boss guy spawns. I think we're on like five or six enemies at the moment. I kind of lost count already. <laughs> I was going to say, is it 15 or 16? We, we tried to figure this out one day and I, I severely miscounted. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. That's the dog. Oh, the way, wait, the one that was chasing you or the other one? Normally a dog that spawns by that van. Oh, there, there, there it is. <laughs> That 
That might be it. Nice. Hey. All right, this is the final, final boss. I don't know if this guy has a name. It, he must be the thug that took over after Tony died. No. That's it. Um, That's it. Time will be when she shoots the camera with the shotgun. Don't you think you've seen enough? Time. Hey. How did I do? It's a run. How did you do? Let's check on the timer. Uh, it looks like it was uh, 145.53. So underestimate. Very oh, that's nice. Not bad. Considering the memes in no. Tibet, where I had to redo Tibet, like that's not bad. Oh yeah, uh, there were definitely some memes uh, to be had in Tibet, but uh, overall, it's a very challenging run, and uh, Stealth did make a lot of it, most of it, look very easy. So uh, I think you did great, Stealth. And thank you so much yeah, thank for, you. for joining us. Yeah, uh, I guess since this is our last run of the night, do you have any uh, comments, shoutouts? But what do you want to say to the people, so? Um, thank you everybody for watching. Um, I don't want to start naming names of people to shout out in the community just because I feel like I missed someone <laughs> out, but shout out to the whole Tomb Raider community on both Twitch and on Discord and we all help each other out and find strats and you know, I'm I'm just, this run is just me standing on the, on the shoulders of the people that have come before me and found all these strats, you know. Um, so yeah, thanks to, thanks to the whole community really. Yeah, y'all really to, to showed up for this run, and uh, I, I see you. So thank you so much, and uh, to everybody watching. Um, I'm going to say, if, if you're not following Stealth Zor here on Twitch, and you did have fun with us tonight, uh, make sure you follow him. I, I think your stream schedule is probably going to be a little bit different after today. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I might even be crazy and go after this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll find out soon enough. But um, uh, that is going to wrap it up for tonight, everyone. So thank you all so, so much for, for watching. Uh, I'd love Tomb Raider 2. Love, love to be able to uh, help Stealth commentate this run. So uh, yeah, thank, thank you for you having so me much. commentate. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, I, I hope I wasn't too obnoxious, but. <laughs> no, really helpful. Thank you. But yeah, um, 1997 is such an awesome year for video games, uh, and I'm happy that we got to spend a little time reminiscing uh, about the good old days with Tomb Raider 2 and uh, Turok, of course. But uh, don't forget to check out No Category Left Behind, followed by Speedruns from the Crypt. That all starts tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I have been your host, Smith Operative. Thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful day or night, and we will see you next time.